What's up guys? I'm Zoe. Welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we are going to be trying Starbucks drinks. And the catch is all of these drinks are customized and they're all only under 100 calories. Now, don't get me wrong. Your girl loves her sugar-filled drinks. I love my french fries. I love my burgers. I love my pastrami. But I also have to stay fit. <laughs> And I wanted to try out these drinks today to see how they were. I got all of these ideas from the Instagram account, The Macro Barista. He has so many different posts about customized drinks you can make that are not only macro friendly, but they're all under 100 calories. Come along with me and let's get started. All right guys, so the first drink that we're going to be trying today is a grande brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso and you ask for only one pump of brown sugar syrup, two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce syrup, and then you can also add one packet or stevia or splenda if you like it a little bit sweeter. And in terms of the macros, this has one gram of protein, nine carbs, three grams of fat, seven grams of sugar, and only 75 calories. Mmm, so good. All right, first of all, I am actually obsessed with oat milk. I love the creaminess of it. This is definitely a creamy drink. It also is like definitely more on the bitter side than the sweet side. It has a little hint of sweetness, but I would definitely say it's more if you don't love extra sugary sweet drinks. I mean, it is only 75 calories, which is amazing. Does anyone else love the sound of ice being shaken up or like swirled in your drink? Maybe me, maybe I'm just weird. I get really nervous sometimes to get drinks that are just espresso because I don't like the way espresso tastes on its own. I have to have it in a latte or with a little bit of sugar and syrup. But this is the perfect blend of flavor. The oat milk really balances it out and gives it that creamy texture and the espresso isn't too overpowering. It has a tiny hint of sweetness and it's not too bitter but it's also not too sweet. I'm going to give this grande ice brown sugar oatmeal shaken espresso a eight out of 10 stars. I think I'm most excited to try this next drink. I've heard so much about it. It's known as the Nutella Nitro Cold Brew. So what it is, is you ask for a grande nitro cold brew, one pump of mocha, one pump of hazelnut, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and then if you like cream or milk in your coffee, you can ask for light cream. In terms of macros, it has no protein, but 12 grams of carbs, no fat, 12 grams of sugar, and only 50 calories. Oh my gosh. It tastes so chocolatey. Okay, I will say this is extremely strong. So you have to be a coffee lover and a chocolate lover to love this drink. It tastes extremely rich. I don't really think it tastes 100% like Nutella and I absolutely love Nutella. I still love this drink, but it tastes more to me like an iced cold brew mocha versus Nutella. Have you guys tried this? Let me know down below in the comments and while you're at it, do me a favor and smash that like button. All right, this drink is for my cold brew lovers, my coffee lovers, my chocolate lovers. I'm going to give the Nutella Nitro Cold Brew an eight out of 10 stars. All right guys, so the next drink we're going to be trying today is a grande iced tea latte. Ask to substitute it for almond milk. Ask for one scoop of matcha, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. And then in terms of the macros, it has two grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, nine grams of sugar, and only 90 calories. Okay, so this drink is significantly lighter than the first one we tried, specifically because of the milks. I think almond milk is probably the lightest kind of milk that you'll have. I might be a little bit biased because I'm not obsessed with matcha and green tea. If I had the option, I'd much rather go for the coffee option. Um, it's good, but I'm not obsessed with it. If you love matcha, if you love green tea, you'll probably really like it. Also, it's very subtly sweet, which I like. Sometimes you'll get like an ice cream tea drink and it just tastes like pure sugar. This is definitely more on the subtle side. You taste the green tea, the almond milk, it blends really nicely together. But like I said, I'm not obsessed with matcha, so I'm going to give this a six out of 10 stars. 
So the last drink that I ordered today was an iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato. So this is how you order it. You're gonna ask for a grande iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato, four pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce, light caramel drizzle, and light cinnamon dolce topping. And then in terms of the calories, this is only 90 calories. Mmm. This is so freaking good. Okay. This by far, starting off, I think is my favorite just off the bat. It's so sweet and has such great hints of cinnamon in it. I'm a sucker for sweet drinks. I love an iced oat milk vanilla latte or a caramel macchiato. This to me tastes more like any of those regular drinks than any of the other ones I've had today so far. I think that the uh, sugar-free cinnamon dolce syrup really stands out. The cinnamon is really strong in this. So if you love cinnamon, I highly recommend getting this drink. Like I said, it's only 90 calories and the almond milk makes it really light at the same time. Have you guys ever had snickerdoodle cookies? This reminds me honestly of a snickerdoodle cookie. It kind of has like hints of vanilla and cinnamon and sugar, but then it has the coffee flavor and it's super light with the almond milk. All of it tastes so, so good together. And the best part about it is it's only 90 calories. You cannot get a better drink for under 100 calories. I absolutely love this. I'm going to give this iced almond milk cinnamon macchiato a nine out of 10 stars. But honestly, I wanna hear from you guys and let me know what you think. Like I said, everything we tried today was under 100 calories. Have you guys tried any of these drinks? Let me know down below in the comments and let me know what your favorite drink to get at Starbucks is. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you can smash that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. I have new videos every week and I'd love for you guys to keep on watching. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.